today I'm going to show you how to reconfigure an arbitrary enabled MongoDB shard cluster using KubeDB. For the demonstration purpose, I have already uh, installed KubeDB in my local Kubernetes cluster. You can go to licenseissuer.fsu.com to get the KubeDB license. I'm using the KubeDB version 2022 and 24 May version. This is uh, the basic structure which I'm going to apply uh, as a MongoDB sharded cluster where uh, two shard will be there and mongoose and one config server. In each of the shard, there will be one primary, one secondary and one arbiter code. So I'm following the SKA uh, structure, uh, stand, uh, secondary, primary and one arbiter. This is the YML I'm going to apply. The MongoDB uh, rep uh, sharded cluster name is MGSH, which is in DB namespace. The version I'm using is 4.4.6. The arbiter port template uh, is, has been set to default. So I'm uh, using the default arbiter port template. And uh, this is the config server uh, spec where uh, there will be three replicas and each of the port uh, has 100 MB of memory. This is the storage of the uh, config server ports. This is a uh, mongoose uh, port spec. There will be two, uh, two replicas and uh, this is the port template of the mongoose port. And uh, this is uh, the port template of the shard ports. There will be two shards and each uh, shard has two replicas, one primary and one secondary. And uh, there will also be one arbiter as I have already enabled the arbiter feature. I am uh, also referring a config secret from uh, the config secret uh, name state here you can see that in the config secret uh, I have set the max incoming connection to set to 10,000 so in each of the shard ports I have set the max incoming connection to 10,000. Let's uh, go to the terminal here you can see that this is the YML. I have already applied and uh, the MongoDB is already in ready state. If we uh, just exit into one of the ports, let's say uh, the shard zero port and run the Mongo command. So we are inside the shard zero primary. And we, if we now uh, run the get cmd line ops command to show the arguments, and uh, these are the argument here you can see that the net max incoming connection is set to 10,000 which uh, I have already uh, set using the config secret and if I run the rs status command to set uh, to get the status of the replica set currently and you can see that each of the uh, primary secondary and arbiter is uh, there let's exit from it now uh, we uh, want to show you uh, the reconfiguration part. Let's uh, see. Mm, let's first apply uh, a secret first. So, kubectl create secret. The secret name is rblog. Name will be log config. So I have uh, created a secret. Here you can see the secret contains the system log file. So we uh, want to uh, set this configuration in the arbiter ports. Uh, th this is our target. Also, uh, we want to uh, change the configuration of the shard ports also. Uh, let's uh, create a reconfiguration uh, and uh, let's uh, discuss them then later. This is uh, the reconfiguration. Now uh, let's see what uh, we have just applied. This is uh, the reconfiguration YML we have uh, just applied. And here you can see that uh, this is the log config. Uh, we have set the log config for, for the arbiter config secret. So uh, this log config will be set for each of the arbiter ports. And this is uh, the configuration we want to set to the shard ports. 
So you can see there are uh, already uh, two uh, way to actually uh, set the configuration. One is using the config secret and uh, all the configuration are writing on the secret file directly. Here uh, you can see that this is the first way. This is the first way where uh, we have set the configuration in a file and then referred uh, the file in uh, using a secret config secret. And uh, this is uh, the second way where you can set the configuration in an inline config directly. So let's what is happening in the background. Here uh, you can see that uh, the reconfiguration of request is already in a progressing state. So this uh, this will uh, evict all the ports one by one, and uh, after it uh, being successful, we can uh, see that uh, if everything is okay or not. Here uh, you can see that this three port has already been uh, restarted. This shard zero. This has been started uh, 30 seconds ago. This has been uh, 102 seconds ago. And uh, this arbiter has been started uh, 68 seconds ago. So the sharp zero has been restarted already. Now uh, we want to uh, wait for uh, the shard one to be restarted now. The secondary uh, first evict, then the arbiter, and then the primary. This is uh, the restarting sequence of the uh, reconfigure of request. This is still in progressing state. So after uh, restarting the secondary and the arbiter port, it has uh, restarted now the primary port. This is an initializing phase. Let's wait for some time. Now, in the meantime, uh, I can exit into one of the port to show what is happening. Let's see, I have exit into the shard zero port and uh, run the mongo command username is root and password is mongo init password so here uh, you can see that in previously we were in shard zero primary uh, this was shard zero port but now after restarted uh, this shard zero port has become secondary so everything is working perfectly. If we run our status, we can uh, validate that the chart zero one has been primary and chart zero two. We are in this uh, port, which is secondary. In the right hand side, you can see that uh, the reconfigure of request has already been successful. So if we are uh, now run the get cmd line of command from the uh, shard zero port here you can see that the max incoming connection has been set to 20000 so we have set it here so this part has been uh, done successfully let's check uh, the arbiter port to do that uh, we want to exit from this port now and exit into the arbiter port this is the arbiter port so okay we are inside the arbiter port and i'm going to command now if i run the db get cmd client linux command here you can see that the system log has been set successfully and if we can check that if it is working or not we can uh, simply get this part and we should get the arbiter uh, ports log. So yes, this is uh, successfully, uh, we can uh, 
we can successfully get the log file. So everything has been uh, gone okay and it is successful. So this is how we can uh, reconfigure the MongoDB uh, sharded poster, which is Arbit Thank you for being with me. Have a good day.